Hi everyone, in this video we will update a ray card okay using Node.js with MySQL database okay. Uh, I have created my front end using React.js so now whenever we press this update button we should update this ray card okay. So for that uh, let's come to our code section. This is the code okay that I have retrieved the card from MySQL database. So here, here I have update button okay. This is the update button that we saw earlier okay. So whenever we press this uh, uh, update button, so we will go to this route, okay, update, and then we will pass our ID to that, okay. So we will come to our, uh, this route, that this is the front end route. Let's come here, see, this update and the ID will be passed with that, okay. So after that, we will go to this element, okay, update element. Let's come to the update element, this is the update component, sorry. So whenever we come to the update component, so now we will write implement our code here, okay. So first of all, we will retrieve the record and we will display that in full fields. Uh, then we will update those records. So let's do it. So for the design purpose, for the design, I will first implement the design, then I will show you the code. I wrote this code for our uh, updating user, okay. So this is h2 tag update user, this is the name field, input field, this is for phone and this is for the email and at last the submit button to update the record. So now whenever we change this video, by default first of all we came to the update uh, area, let's press this. Yeah whenever we come here so we should have that user that we would like to update the record of that, okay the data of that. So for that let's come here to the use effect hook, we will use use effect hook. And here we will get the first uh, first the user okay so to get the user so for that I am using access library access dot uh, um, I get okay we will get user from localhost HTTP. so we will write something our route would be This will be out. We will go to um, search, okay? Search route, and we will also we will pass our ID to that. Plus ID. So how to get the ID? First, we will get here our ID. Const ID is equal to. So to get the ID, we will use uh, use forum uh, hook of React router down. Use forums. So it will get the ID from the URL that we have passed earlier, okay? So we will pass our uh, ID to this search route and then we will get a result and I will console that result what we get okay result if there was any error so get that for us So now let's move to our backend code okay to the server js to this api so we will create this api first let's create that api app.get so i have written uh, this code in my um, this is node.js code okay so i have already implemented for creating updating uh, for creating for getting and for the deletion okay so now we will um, get a record first based on id okay so for that we i am using express framework it is node.js framework okay for this code after this code create connection with mysql uh, after we will get now our um, a record so for that i will just write search our route name was search and then we have an id here we will get a request and response here first we will get uh, um, our id okay const id is equal to we will get our id from request.params.id it will give us the id that we have passed to our in our url uh, after that uh, i will write my query const sql is equal to select steric from uh, the table name is users with at okay look at here we have deleted the record for that users and where id is equal to we will write question mark okay 
later we will attach id with that so now we will implement our query we will like db we have created a database object db.query and we will pass our sql to that and also our id after that we will get an error or data so right here if there was an error so then return result.json error else return result.json the data okay so it will be get, uh, it will return error or the data so whenever it return the data so now let's check that and we have printed that here uh, let's come here yes yeah let's go to the console and here on the console yeah let's press the update yeah we came to this forum and we got this data okay see it we have this data the data and the record okay we have this record so now let's assign this data to our variable let's create that const data set data is equal to our use use state hook it is in array type with us so instead of this i will assign now the data to that here i will use um, set data method that we have created result dot data result the data will be assigned to that this one okay so now let's come here so now we should uh, have our data uh, show our data in this input field so for that let's write value is equal to with data dot can we display that uh, data dot name so let's check it is it accessible or not uh, it is an array we cannot access like this okay so we should use uh, array for that so let's do it okay we will see see data const yeah this is const yeah we didn't access okay let's come back we appreciate let's update it yeah we didn't access our name So we can write uh, like this, okay, to access our value, okay, zero. The first record, that name, okay, because we are updating one record. So now let's see the error has, so we got our name. Also, we will write the same for uh, email. This should be email. And also be... Uh, this is email number was pool yes so we got the data yeah we get the data so now we should update it okay so to update it so let's call on change event on change event uh, um, we should use is equal to We then change event so let's create here the variables const first name set name is equal to use state this would be email this would be pool set pool email set email after that by default we will pass this data okay this data to those variables okay 
to this one first and this one will be passed to the second one and instead of that we will use here name just name okay these variables these variables name pool and also instead of this let's write email So now we will change uh, these values whenever we are inputting a value here. Okay, why unchange? So I will write here is equal to a uh, sit pool. Okay, I will call here sit pool e dot target dot value. Same to this, I will use for name. Here I will call sit name. And also for email instead of that I will call email. Now we can change our video. Okay, let's check it. Uh, we got an error. What is the error? So let's see the uh, const name, sit name, use state, data zero dot name dot pool dot email. Video is equal to name, pool and email. Yeah, I will check the error. Yes, instead of writing like this, okay, so we will just uh, come here. We will remove this set data, okay, and instead of this setting data, we will set our name directly. Our name and uh, let's copy the. Remove this. And also remove this. And remove this. So I will write something like this here. Yeah, we will write directly like this. Okay, we will directly update our name, phone, and email. Okay, here like this. Okay. After updating them, so let's check it now. See, we have the records. Okay, we can update them right now. So now, whenever we submit this update button, so we should go to the yeah let's come to our forum on submit we will call handle update okay we will create this function now so here first of all we will prevent default submission prevent default after that we will use access and we will pass our data uh, to that uh, backend API. Uh, this would be should be put okay because we, has, uh, we are updating the data and this should be changed to update. And this should be ID should be attached with that okay. We have our ID. And after that, we will get uh, that uh, we will get a result. And we will directly go to navigate to the uh, home page. We will use navigate now. Okay, I will just import it. If there was any error. Console. Sorry. So let's import our navigate. Const. Navigate is equal to use navigate hook of React router down so it will go back as to our home component to this let's use navigate yeah it's okay so now let's move to our backend server that is we will write code for the um, uh, uh, put okay for the update I will copy this And I will like this should be put right now, not post. And this should be changed to update. Yeah, we have update. The API name was this update. And we will get an ID. So to get the ID, we will use again the same method as we did here. So now we will update our data. We will use update. 
users set name is equal to question mark comma phone is equal to question mark email is equal to question mark where id is equal to question mark okay so now first we will get our records name phone and email and after that uh, we will use like this okay our values and also id yeah these values are for these question marks and for this one we uh, have this id updated yes uh, update user set name okay no error update get the date id yeah okay so let's check it now so first we should pass data okay sorry i didn't pass the data let's come here to our put and we will pass our data like this okay our name phone and email so now let's check it okay let's change it passive update zero 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 and also a zip up update it see let's check it yeah the record didn't update it yes updated okay see this record has updated i see i see updated zero zero i see updated gmail.com so it was all about updating a record using node.js with mysql and the front end was for in react.js i hope this video was helpful for you uh, finally thanks for watching